We're here with Dr. Osman Gabizli Alouf. Osman, thank you for taking some time with us today. Fiber to the home has been around for a while, but there are some challenges with that traditional infrastructure. What are those challenges? FTTH networks uh, clearly are of worldwide uh, attention. However, they still suffer from uh, uh, two key uh, problems uh, for service providers. One is uh, they are very labor intensive to build, to maintain, uh, and they also are therefore very costly. Uh, so uh, many of the uh, providers uh, do recognize the value. However, uh, they've been particularly in Europe uh, they've been really holding back uh, their uh, plans for developing, building these networks uh, for, uh, again, purely cost reasons. What is Huawei doing to address some of the traditionally high costs built into fiber to the home networks? Huawei, I think, uh, has had the leadership uh, in the industry in addressing the high cost uh, and high labor intensive nature of these networks. And uh, today's Huawei's IODN solution uh, exactly uh, addresses these issues. Um, and uh, I think uh, what uh, Huawei recognized from the very beginning is that uh, changing the nature of the fiber to the home networks uh, and making them more uh, uh, open to management would be the solution. And uh, today the IODN solution has really done that uh, by using uh, what we call uh, ID technologies, by uh, developing and assigning an ID to uh, each part of a network, network elements, ports in the network, and then utilizing that ID information in a network management uh, system structure uh, managing uh, these networks and essentially uh, this uh, solution has opened uh, a new era in what we call passive facilities management uh, which uh, originally uh, and even today in the traditional ODN uh, still remains to be not manageable however the IODN solution makes uh, or has made the passive networks manageable and most importantly, it allows now the service providers two very major uh, tools uh, to uh, use fiber routing and service provisioning. And service provisioning is clearly a very important uh, element of their service. When a customer needs service, providing that service efficiently uh, in a short period of time and to satisfy the customer. So service provisioning uh, with uh, high efficiency is the key, and I IODN solution provides that. Being able to manage modern networks both remotely and granularly is key to driving the cost down. What does the future hold for further enhancing the manageability of networks? Uh, first, uh, the, we, we've been talking about fiber to the home. However, the uh, IODN solution essentially uh, provides the tools to extend it to the entire optical network. Uh, not only the fiber to the home or access, but all the way to uh, the core. So what really the future is the intelligent optical network, uh, rather than going from IODN to ION, an intelligent optical network. And uh, in doing that, uh, also we have now combined the capabilities of uh, supervising or monitoring the optical channel. When the IODN is combined with the optical layer supervision, it provides a very powerful tool for the service provider to manage the network, to troubleshoot, to locate the faults, and quickly repair those faults. So at the end, uh, both the service provider and customer win uh, because of the high availability of service and uh, minimal interruptions in the service. Osman, thank you for being with us today. Thank you.